it's Christina. Welcome back to the 12 Days of Yoga Challenge. Today is day 8 and we'll be doing a short sequence to burn fat and calories. This one will get you up, get you moving, and help to burn off all those extra Christmas cookies that you wish you hadn't eaten. Begin on your hands and knees and we'll take some cat and cow. Inhale, look up and forward. Spread your shoulders, tuck your toes. Exhale, untuck your toes, curve your spine, and look behind you. Inhale, cow pose, arching your back, and exhale, cat pose. Continue to move on your own breath. With each inhale, look up and forward, arching. And with each exhale, curve and round your spine, looking behind you. Continuously move and coordinate your movement with your breath. We'll take about three more full rounds of cat and cow here. As you're moving in and out of your arch and curve, be sure that you're not locking into your elbow joints. So you're holding yourself up with your arm muscles. Also, it's helpful to imagine that you're working through each and every bone in your spine as you're moving. Make your way into a flat back, looking down just forward of your fingertips. From here, raise your left leg up behind you and point your toes down towards the ground, heel up. Raise your right arm out in front of you as well, and you're aiming to create one horizontal line from the tip of your fingers all the way down your body to your heel. Take one more reach forward with your hand and back with your foot. And then slowly set your hand and leg down onto the mat and switch sides. Raise your right leg up behind you, flex your foot, point your heel up and toes down. And then raise your left arm out in front of you and reach in opposing directions from your hand to your foot. Your hand is reaching forward, your foot is reaching backwards, and you're in one horizontal line. Set your leg and your hand back down onto the mat. Tuck your toes and press into the ground with your hands and feet as you make your way into downward facing dog. Pedal your legs, bending and straightening your legs, alternating and stretching the muscles behind in the back of your legs and your glutes. Slowly come to stillness in downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Have a gentle bend in your knees. Press your heels down towards the ground. Also, press your hands into the ground evenly, not locking into your elbow joints, holding yourself up with your arm muscles. And on your next inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, look forward, and step your feet up into a half forward fold. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up to standing and reach your arms up, and on an exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, rotate your arms out around and raise them up and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back into plank pose. We'll be moving from plank to downward dog three times. So hold plank for one more deep inhale and deep exhale. And then on your following exhale, lift your hips up and back downward facing dog and pedal your legs. Smooth and continuous movements, gently pressing each heel down towards the ground. Slowly come to stillness in downward facing dog. Send your hips down back into plank. Hold plank. Take a deep breath. In and out through your nose. And on your next exhale, send your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Once again, pedal your legs. Bend and straight. Each time you straighten, press that heel down. Slowly come to stillness. Send your hips back down into plank. Hold plank. Last plank here. One more deep breath. And then on an exhale, lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Pedal your legs one last time. Slowly come to stillness. Hold here for two more deep breaths. Inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, look forward, step up into half forward fold. 
and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up to standing and reach up. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, rotate your arms and raise them up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway. And exhale, plant your palms, step back into plank pose. Inhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. From here, we'll be taking an abdominal curl sequence three times. So on your inhale, raise your right leg all the way up behind you. And then bend your leg and curl the knee in towards the nose. Take another inhale and lift your leg back up, three-legged dog, straightening the leg completely. This time, curling your knee in again and bringing it in towards your right elbow. And on your next inhale, raise it back up, three-legged dog. Last curl of this sequence, knee to left elbow for a twist. And inhale, lift it up, three-legged dog. Take that whole sequence a little faster. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift it up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift it up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. And inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, raise it back up. Last time, knee to left elbow. Exhale, and inhale, lift it back up. Set the foot down, downward facing dog. Bring your knees to the ground. Touch your big toes together behind you. Sit onto your heels and bring your forehead to the ground in a child's pose. Keeping your arms by your sides for this one. Reach your arms out in front of you, stretching them all the way forward. Tuck your toes and press up into downward facing dog. Settle here for a moment. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. We'll be taking the entire abdominal curl sequence once more, just a bit faster this time. Inhale, raise your right leg up behind you, knee to nose. Three legged dog, lift it back up, knee to right elbow. Lift it back up, knee across your body, left elbow. Lift it back. On an exhale, knee to nose into the center. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee across your body to left elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Set your foot down and get ready to come into the other side. Inhale, three legged dog on the left. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Lift it back up on an inhale. Exhale, twist, knee to right elbow, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. And lift it up, last abdominal curl. Exhale, knee to right elbow for your twist. And inhale, three-legged dog. Set the foot down in downward facing dog. Hold for a deep inhale. And release it out completely. Do that one more time. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale, raise your heels. Bend your knees, look forward, and step your feet up into a half forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing and reach up. Exhale, release your hands down. Inhale, sit your hips back, reach your arms up and forward, Utkatasana, fierce pose. On your next exhale, keep your legs where they are and fold your torso over in a forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway, and exhale, plant your palms, and step back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, and step it forward in between your hands. Knee is directly above your ankle. Stay high on the ball of your left foot and raise your arms up into high lunge. Hold high lunge, lunge forward into that right leg. 
And on your next inhale, set your back foot down at 45 degrees. Look down at your feet. Align your right heel with your left arch. Open your shoulders and reach your arms all the way out to the side, coming into warrior two. From here, reach your right arm over your right leg and then come to place your right forearm on your right top thigh. Reach your left arm up and over your ear on the diagonal and look up, coming into side angle pose. Modified Utita Parsvakonasana. Slowly make your way back through warrior two and then circle your arms to frame your front foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Hold down dog for a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Inhale, raise your left leg up behind you. Step it forward in between your hands. Knee is right above your ankle. Stay high on the ball of your right foot. Lift up your arms and torso into high lunge. Lunge forward into that left leg. Reach your arms up. Back leg is strong. Set your right heel down at 45 degrees and align your left heel with your right arch. Bring your arms out to the side and hold here in warrior two pose for a deep breath. Reach your left arm over your leg and bring your forearm to your left top thigh. Reach your right arm all the way up and over your ear on the diagonal coming into side angle on the left. Bring your arms back out to the side in warrior two and then circle your hands to frame your front foot on the ground, stepping back into downward facing dog for one deep breath. Lower your knees onto the mat, touch your big toes together, Sit your hips onto your heels and relax over your legs, bringing your head to the ground in a child's pose. Your arms are next to your sides and you're breathing deeply in your child's pose. You can close your eyes if you'd like. Slowly come out of your child's pose and make your way to a seated position. We will take our toe touches in a modified Navasana or boat pose. So sit on your two sits bones and then lift your shins up parallel to the ground, pointing your feet and then reach your arms out towards your feet. Begin to drop your toes down one at a time. So first the right and then pick it back up to parallel and then drop the left. Continuously move now right, down and up, left, down and up. Right, drop down and left, drop it down, pick it up. Right, down, pick it up, left, down, pick it up. Keep stable in the rest of your body as you're moving through your toe taps and you should feel your abdominals starting to work a bit here. One more time, right and left. And then cross your shins in front of you, sit up tall in Sukhasana, and exhale, forward fold. Stretch your arms out and relax your head over. Come up out of your forward fold and slowly make your way back into Navasana for your toe tap sequence one final time. Lifting your shins up to parallel and then reaching your arms out towards your feet. And begin dropping your right toe and then your left. Right down and up, left down and up. Right down and up, left down and up. Keep your body stable, keep reaching towards your feet. Hold for one more reach and then cross your shins in the opposite way that you did before. Sit up tall on an inhale and on an exhale, forward fold, stretching your arms all the way out in front of you, relaxing your head down, close your eyes for a moment, breathe deeply, and make your way out of your forward fold coming up, and then come to lying flat on your back. Once you're on your back, stretch your legs out, separate them slightly apart, relax them completely. 
Have your hands down by your sides. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and begin to deepen your breath once again. Focusing your attention on your breathing. Quiet your mind and remain here. Slowly bring some motion back into your limbs. And when you're ready, bend your legs and roll onto the right side of your body. Rest there with your arm underneath your head. Use your hands to help you. Come up to a seated position. Cross your shins. Bring your hands to your knees. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest and bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for day 8 of the 12 Days of Yoga Challenge. I'll see you again tomorrow for day 9. <laughs>